chill stream. No detractor memes, bathroom breaks, playing WWE, relaxing chill session of Street Fighter 3. It's like I'm getting my vibe back from 2017. Joe Murray spends his whole fucking day talking about Phil. Yo, what up? It's your boy. Oh, man. I'm telling you, I've been up since 3 a.m. Right now, it's almost noon. <laughs> Uh, today's Phil's day off doesn't mean I'm really taking a day off. Oh, I should be at work right now. But what happened? Oh, uh, ah, shoot. My car's actually in the shop, so I had to call out of work. So, <laughs> normally I'm at work, so bam! Extra video. It's not extra video. I'd still do a video, but you know what I mean. This video is, uh, coming at you early, hopefully. Let's see how deep this goes. Oh. In this video, you guys see everything that's been going on in the condo kingdom, bro. The showers break, the dishwashers break, vacuums break, it's dusty and dirty. <laughs> the car broke, and that was a whole fiat. That, that was a little mini arc, it's like a filler arc in itself, you know. And then, what happened last night, dude? The TV broke. Phil's TV broke. <laughs> Everything around the guy is breaking and falling apart. The whole house is crumbling <laughs> from the foundation beneath his feet, dude. <laughs> and you're supposed to pay for it all. So, yo, I just wanted to kind of dig into it. Because there are a couple things I always thought that were sus. Like, not so much the, the way things break, but the amount of money he's saying that these things cost. And in the end, you just kind of find out that Phil's a schmuck. Like, but it, it kind of ring. I have a theory. It's not even a theory. It's kind of obvious. Phil is so entitled, and he makes so much money, bro, and he lives such a good lifestyle that overpaying for things? You know, pay for the most expensive dumbass option. It's nothing for he doesn't care, you know. So if a mechanic's like you have to pay two thousand dollars, he's gonna sit on a stream and cry about it, but he has the money to pay it. So last night his TV broke, but he's like, I gotta have it. I need that TV uh, Friday, guys. So he pretty much has the he had the money to pay for it, and I'm telling you, Phil's an extravagant guy. So he's going to get a TV that's at least a thousand dollars, you know? So yeah, we're going to dig into this. I'm sorry, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good fun stuff. And yeah, I'm a little, I I'm super high and lit, so I had to do a lot of research today. Let's get into it. So we're going to go into each and every one of the recent things that have been breaking in Phil's house. We're going to break down how much it costs, right? And in the end, we're going to try to come up with our own, like, ending theory about everything that's going on. So first off, let's start with the shower arc. The broken shower arc. <laughs> so yeah, you know, Phil came back. Bro, his shower broke last year, and I remember this. The shower broke last year. And he said nothing else about it, really. And then he brought it up again. He's acting like... Dude, the price that Phil came up with for the broken shower was $5,000, bro. $5,000 for a broken shower. <laughs> it's like, what, Phil? $5,000? So I looked it up, and it's like, dude, that's like the price you probably have to pay if you're trying to replace, like, a shower and a sink. Or, like, a, you know, the whole bathroom kind of deal. So yeah, let's dig into this. Let's poke a hole in this one. Use some of the equity to fix the shit in the house that's all busted, right? And then not have the daily problems that I have, right? Not have to worry about, oh, I can't actually um, afford to fix my shower and shit, you know? <laughs> to fix my shower, not only do I have to have the handle replaced, I have to have the whole pipe in the wall replaced, I have to have all the tiles broken out and then rebuilt, then I need to have the whole floor removed 
in front of the shower and likely repaired or replaced and then have all new tiling and new sealant done. So this went from, oh, this is like maybe a couple hundred dollar repair to, oh, this is probably like a $5,000 repair. <laughs> That's what it went to, you know? So am I redoing that? No, I don't have that money. I don't have any, any money for that, you know? What can I do? Again, Phil's just proving that he's a grown adult that doesn't know how to manage money. How do you make over $100,000 a year, bro, but you can't figure out how to pay for a $5,000 shower repair? That's why we think you're full of it, Phil. Alright, so we're gonna segue into the dishwasher art. But, as far as the vacuum, he ended up getting a new one, right? But, when a viewer asked him for an update about the broken vacuum in the, in the shower, dude. Phil tried to act oblivious to it because you know, his head has to hold so many lies, bro. That when he's, tr he's so stupid, dude. The guy can't walk and breathe at the same time, you know? <clears throat> Having a cat with litter that we change frequently. And you know, like I said, anytime that we, we, we clean something in the house, like last year our, our vacuum broke. So we got a new one, and I still haven't thrown out the old vacuum. I still have it in the garage busted. You know, it's stupid as shit. You're like, you can't throw stuff out here. <laughs> Just did a $5 super chat. So sorry I haven't been here. High school keeps me busy. You're full of shit, by the way. Has there been an update on the broken shower and vacuum cleaner? No, and I don't know what you're talking about. Thanks for the super chat. Very distracted. Pet colored patches. It's like, why lie, Phil? Just say you got a brand new vacuum, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's always lying about something, and it'll be the stupidest thing. And then he wants to sit here and go, Why? Why are the detractors always defaming me? Why are they always trying to pick apart everything, acting like he's doing social experiments and put and springing traps like he's Heisenberg, bro? He isn't that smart. Oh, come on, man. Dishwasher repair or home appliance repair is what I need. Exactly. I need someone who specializes in fixing a home appliance that's not going to be, oh, I'm a plumber and I'm going to check 40 things in your line and charge you $100 per hour and here's your $800 repair bill. I need someone who's a specialist. They're going to come in within minutes. Oh, I know because I'm a specialist in dishwashers. What's wrong? Test, fix, done, out. Here's a couple hundred dollar bill. That would be ideal. So I hope that's what happens. <clears throat> I've got a dishwasher sitting downstairs broken. I can't use it. And I actually talked to my parents about it. And they're like, you know, dishwasher repair is expensive. You might end up paying three, four hundred dollars. Did you know you could buy a new dishwasher for four hundred dollars? And I was like, no, I actually didn't know they were that cheap. And they're like, yeah, you can get like a mid-range dishwasher for around $400. You may not even want to call a repair person. You might just want to buy a whole new one. Your dishwasher is eight years old and maybe you just need a new one. And I'm like, well, that's great. But where do I get $400 from? <laughs> right? So Phil makes, a, he makes at least, bro, $400 a day. You know? So if his parents are telling you could get a hey hey little Philip, you could get a dishwasher for four hundred dollars. He makes that in a day, but Phil doesn't use the money he makes in tips for the things he he's supposed to use them for. Okay? That four hundred dollars that gets donated, dude, he's sitting here like it's WWE champions time, snort. You know, and the rest the rest of it goes towards his bills and fuck around shit, dude. So next we're going into one of the most recent arcs. The chargeback arc. You know, when Phil is sitting here like a salty old man going, Wah, My money! My chargebacks! My tips! God dang, bro. And then he started harassing our boy Snorlax King over $23 in chargebacks when he actually do he donated over $400 to Phil, dude, in hopes of being inside the condo compound inner circle, dude. And Phil rubbed shit in his face. So he reached out to us, the trackers, and the whole community on Twitter, and he was able to bless us in this channel with an exclusive interview. 
you know? And I actually have an update for you guys as far as uh, Snorlax King. <laughs> so yeah, let's go into this and then we'll, we'll end it with Snorlax King getting the dub. Um, I received $400 in chargebacks today. Okay? Um, basically, this one person who had contributed over the course of, you know, a month or two, uh, you know, I guess was always a detractor. I don't know. I really don't know the story behind it at all. Uh, so it slammed me right at the tail end of the stream, but I was smart. I transferred tips that I needed for my day off tomorrow and to pay my bills to my bank account already. So it did not drain my funds. Thank God. Okay. I'm set for Gotham Knight. The bad news is when I come back on Friday, I'm literally starting this week at negative $400 because of a scumbag. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys want to know more about exactly what's going, like the exact context, go watch my video about, you know, my interview with Snorlax King, because that's who Phil's talking about. Phil went after Snorlax King over $23 in chargebacks. So Snorlax King said, Phil, you could go, you know, you could go kick rocks, bro. So he ended up charging back every single dollar, bro, that he did ahead of time. And I think that's when it hit, and Phil was in a panic, man. And he tried to bully this kid, bro. Try It was another example about how Phil runs his whole operation like a cult. You know, he calls these things housekeeping. When you're talking about money on the, the pre-stream podcast, it, it's the it's housekeeping to him. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> so yeah, Snorlax King, he ended up winning. Uh, I went on Twitter and I saw the kid. He popped out like a cat in a bush, dude. <laughs> Startled me. I was like, oh, snap, it's you. <laughs> so this is what he said. One final update. I won the chargebacks. All of them. Yes. I got over $400 back. It's slowly being refunded and put back into all the bank accounts and cards I use. Thank you, PayPal, for taking my side and protecting me as a customer. So I tried to give Snorlax, you know, the pat on the back. I commented back, you know, gave him the words of encouragement he needs. Gave him the congratulations for getting his bag back. $400 that Phil's not going to just blow on sweaty JPEGs. You know, Snorlax King can use it on things he wants to use it on. That, you know, deserve it. So, you know, I tried to say, hey, man. You know, if, if you ever pop back up, don't feel free to say hi. You know, hope to see him around. But I think this is probably his final message to the uh, detractor community, just us as a whole. So, I mean, I hope to see him again. I'm glad he beat Phil's ass with the chargebacks. Let's go. Let's go. You got over 400 bucks back. But yeah, this is the final message from Snorlax King from Twitter. Thank you for spreading the word on my situation and helping. Glad this whole thing is over. I'm done after this. Cause I wanted to give one last update and dip from the internet, lol. At least a sector of it. I'll definitely watch and support your content from the sidelines, bro. Yo, again, big up Snorlax King. Thanks for actually, you know, being brave enough to share your story and to interact with us. Cause I know what, like all the stuff Phil says about us. We sound like a bunch of weird boogeymen that, that live in basements and, you know, like we're little hobbits and trolls, bro. Like, get out of here. So, all right. We're about to get into the meat and potatoes, guys. So, we're about to talk about the good old, what is it? The car saga, baby. Oh, yes. The car saga. And it's going to throw up into the TV art. And then we're done for the day. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, let's go. Alright, I'm not gonna dig too deep into this. Because I literally did some videos about this the other day. We all watched this during the live stream. So I'm gonna give you the the nickel tour. Phil wakes up one day. He 
First of all, he tries to refill the, the tires full of air, and he thinks, oh, God, <laughs> Phil's gonna fuck, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> all right, so the day before, the guy puts air in the tires, like, yes, this should, uh, the engine should work. So, Cat goes to turn on the engine next day, the engine doesn't start, he goes to tow the car, literally around the corner from his house, $200, bro, whatever, right? <laughs> Me, personally, I would have had Cat's fat ass helping me push that car around the fucking block, bro. But not Phil. He has to choose the most expensive way to do things. So, he takes this shit to the mechanic, bro. And you know us, the tractors, were already on top of his ass. Like, alright, how much is this gonna cost? I already figured, bro, it's gonna be like $2,000. Everybody's like, chill, why $2,000? Because Phil always wants some weird round number of money. He always wants a lump sum of money that's even and whole. So, yeah, dude, we end up finding out that the jackass wasn't exactly lying about how much he paid for. He showed us the invoice, but low-key, behind the scenes, we, we got a hold of that shit like gangbusters. <laughs> oh, so, yo, let's look at this, this shit real quick, man. But, what else just happened, <clears throat> right? My car broke down yesterday. My wife was going to go to work in the morning. Car won't start. Getting an error. Uh, you know, check engine. And basically yesterday I had to get it towed to the shop. Got it towed to the shop. $200 bill. Just just had to pay up front. You know, I had to pay once it was towed. 200 bucks just to tow the car. Okay. So I have an update for everyone today. <clears throat> it's not good news. All right. And I'm debating how much to really reveal here because as you know, when, when I talk about things, here's the thing, here's the truth of the matter, all right? Anything that you guys do to help me, I really appreciate, all right? I want you to understand that. Things Millionaires and Auto Mechanics, this aired all the way back in 1980, but you know, based on your story and this quote that you just showed, it seems like that still holds up. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I got a bad battery Let's replace all the wiring in your car for $2,000. Well, that sounds like a, a just a splendid idea, doesn't it? That's just a real genuine business over there. Great. Okay. Terrible. We had, everything went wrong today, right? Like someone today right, walked up to me and said, how you doing? I said, you know what today was shit. My car broke down. I had to take it to the shop. It was over $1,000 to fix it. I think they ripped me off. Do you think people want to hear that? They'd be like, oh, I don't care. Like, why did you ask me? Why did you ask me how I was doing? Why don't you just be honest about it? You don't care. So, you know, the car arc, if it's taught me anything, it's not the far right, hey, Phil does it once in a blue moon, bro, like a unicorn in the night sky. Phil probably isn't outright lying about something. He's fibbing about things, though. Like the guy's lying. He said he only put 10,000 miles on his car. Look at this, 60,000 miles. Like, why do you have to lie about something little like that, you know? Is almost never used. It's one day a week I drive it all day for our day off. And then my wife goes to work a few times a week, drives it to and from work. Outside of that, it sits in the garage. This is not a car that gets a ton of use. Five years, 10,000 miles on the car. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Soul Potato. And uh, BHS just did a super chat. He said, I think you're interesting. Consider not getting hung up on facts. Just roll with it. Well, I mean, we already talked about everything. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to comment again. Like I said, this whole car thing is done now. Um, I have my car back. I know I got ripped off. I'm not stupid. Um, but I needed the car back as soon as possible. So that's why I kind of had to do what I did. Paid what I paid. Um, you know, in the future, for car repairs, obviously, I'm going to go somewhere else and try to get, you know, even if it means going for much further away, towing the car further, if I can save, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars, it'll be worth it. And then the dummy sat here trying to get ahead of the invoice getting out. <laughs> he tried to get ahead of it. Uh, you see, it was all an experiment. It was an elaborate social experiment. Act, act, act. And then he sits here like, they treat me like I'm a super villain. But you're sitting here acting like you're coming with all these scams and schemes, Phil. You didn't trick nobody. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> oh, you're that embarrassed and looking stupid. You have to fucking spin things like, I meant for this to happen, you see. Aha! You got tricked. By, by the almighty dark side, Phil. Oh my god, I'm done. Alright, that's it for the car. <laughs>
That's how he got, bro. Phil's been riding my nerves and I'm getting exhausted. <laughs> oh, I gotta take a drink. We're gonna jump into what I feel like the cherry on top for all of Phil's stuff breaking in his house. All right, last and not least, bro. You know Phil sitting here doing the Vince McMahon struck around the, the condo, bro. I beat those trolls. <laughs> you know he's feeling himself getting showered with money, bro. You know, straight up rubbing all this shit in our face and then the TV breaks. <laughs> oh, oh, bro. One of the things Phil actually needs to run his business is straight up broke, bro. And it was hilarious seeing all the clips of this unga bunga caveman dumb fuck trying to, trying to hit his TV to make it work. Oh, all right, let's get into the broken TV art, and then we're done. We're done! <laughs> Bro, look at, look at, look at Phil's. You can see him, his reflection in the TV. <laughs> hey, he looks like for the first time he's contemplating his life, bro. Like, everything in the compound's breaking. Look how dirty this is. Look how gross and disorganized and filthy this all looks. Oh, Lord, Phil. <laughs> Look how fucked off he looks right now, too. <laughs> he looks like he's about to have a stroke, dog. <laughs> like, he's at the end of his rope. This is it. It's the final episode. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, man. I can't, bro. These still pictures of Phil, these crack me up, bro. Like, he just looks so hopeless, man. <laughs> He just doesn't know what to do. Bro, open your wallet, Phil. Buy new damn TV. <laughs> Yo, Phil, you're not gonna find tips inside the TV, bro. <laughs> oh my god, what a mongoloid, dude. Like, <laughs> dude, he's really flashing a flashlight on a dead TV. What is there to see, Phil? Like, acting like a baseball ran through the condo window and hit it. There's nothing to see. You didn't get hit by nothing, Phil. You know, look at that bald spot, bro. Oh my god. That thing, that's looking like the sun in the night. It, like the, it looks like a full moon in the night sky, dog. Oh lord. Yo, big ups, pigs are animations. He did this one. <laughs> I love his artwork, bro. He's an artist. He's a true Michelangelo of our time, bro. Oh. <laughs> Cat's dying. She's crying downstairs, bro. It's fucked. It's fucked. I'm fucked. Bro, like hitting the TV, Phil? This isn't 1985, bro. <laughs> like, that ain't how you fix a TV. Smacking it? Come on, dude. IQ a two. Oh, God. So, of course, he had to release the tweet. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Hold on. <laughs> yes. On top of everything else that's happened this month, Snort, on tonight's late stream, we go TV shopping and buy a new one to be delivered on Friday for the new games. When it rains, it pours. When it rains and pours, during this video, I'm going to upload and eat dinner. Tonight, we're going shopping. That's what we're doing on the late stream tonight. We're gonna go shopping for a TV. We're gonna try to find the right TV for the hardcore gaming season. And it has to be off of Amazon. It's the only thing I'm gonna get in two days to get shipped here. Cause some people are saying, what about buying things in person? I, tomorrow, I'm not even exaggerating. I already have a whole day plan, grocery shopping, getting filters for my, my filtration system, probably having to go to Costco and other things. I don't, I can't have a TV in my car. Like, you know what I mean? This is just it's not going to happen. I already have way too much to be able to go TV shopping in person, going store to store tomorrow. And by the way, I hate to say it, the people in these stores know nothing. These are people who are paid minimum wage. They don't know anything about what they're selling you. 
So I walk in there. What's the response rate on that TV? What? So I, this is worthless. We have to order. No, that's you, Phil. Someone asks you, a guy who makes over a hundred grand, anything about PC parts? That's you. Uh, what? Huh? That's you, Phil. Sitting here disrespecting minimum wage workers because they make less money than you. Just because they make less money than you, Phil, doesn't mean they don't know shit. You deserve everything in your house breaking. I hope the ceiling collapses in on him, bro. I hope he's sitting there streaming and then blah! <laughs> you know? Oh, a bunch of insulation and drywall hits him in the head and knocks some sense into him, dude. So he expects you to sit here and watch him shop for a new TV. I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> oh, quality, quality content. He expects you to sit here and fucking funnel money to him while he sits here and actively looks for a brand new TV to buy. D guy, you can go. It's called making two trips, Phil. You can make two trips. What the heck? When I was putting my computer together, I took three to my best buy to get all the stuff I needed, man. Oh, but not Phil, bro. Everything is just too hard for him to do. <laughs> oh, my God. He acts like he's doing a world tour as a politician. Oh, my God. The guy's pathetic. This is pathetic. I'm about to, I'm about to have a stroke. I'm literally going to die. Phil is exhausted. <laughs> He's exhausted my brain. This was an exhausting video to make. Oh god, dude. This is it. <laughs> the whole condo is crumbling, dude. Right beneath Phil's feet. Between the lack of maintenance, bro, and just the fact that he doesn't really care about anything but gambling and getting that next little money high. Like, dude, that it's crazy. You know, something breaks. It hurts Phil more to dig into the coffers of the communist states of Phil than, you know, it hurts him to actually have to beg its citizens for money. It's pathetic. And you know what they say, a business can't pay its own employees, shouldn't be a business. But that's what I'm saying. Phil makes over $100,000 a year. Plus the seven to $9,000 he makes a month. A month, bro, you know? Like, come on. And then he expects $400 a day out of people in tips right on time. He needs it. So think about it. He doesn't use his money to take care of his car, to put oil in it, to make sure, you know, the battery's charged. He doesn't make sure the, the dishwasher or anything's clean and filters are changed. No, only when it's breaking or it breaks. And then Phil goes and he tries to fish for money. He wants to see if you're dumb enough to pay for all this stuff. Like, come on. And I think the car was a bridge too far that Phil knew that he couldn't ride. You know, he knew he couldn't ride his whales to save the car. So he went into the coffers of the communist state, bro. Like, get out of here. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, bro. Like, it's like if my son was 40, bro. Uh, Dad, the car, my car broke because I'd never take care of it. My dishwasher's broke. Dad, my TV, Dad. Bro, go fuck yourself, son. You're 40 years old, and I'm dying in a retirement home. Like, oh, all right, I'm done, guys. <laughs> it was a very, very long video, I'm sure. I got a lot of editing to do, and then I got work in the morning. So, I'll catch you guys later. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good, fun stuff. And God, please save my soul for covering all the begging, broken shit arcs. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next video, my friends. Peace. Everything was right. Everything was right. I did nothing wrong. Masturbated. What? Oh, the camera's out. I don't even know. I need your help and support. Pledge to pay.